Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Lake Orion High. Welcome to the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse. Tonight we have a crosstown rival in an OAA Red Championship volleyball match between the Lake Orion Dragons and the Clarkston Wolves. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Tyler Ratliff, here with my guy on his first time on air, Zach A. Zach Hayes. Zach. Give me your input on tonight's game and what you got. Well, tonight's a big game, Tyler. We have two rivalry teams. Lake Orion's looking to make up some ground. They lost last year. We had a really competitive OAA Red last year. We're looking to have a strong start off. They're looking to get going off the bat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, tonight, after talking with a few of the Lake Orion players, especially senior Sydney Small, she said one of the key factors for them to win tonight is to limit Kayla Kogan, number seven on Clarkston. So they, she said that she is in a very explosive and accurate spike. And when that ball goes up, you got to be ready when you're on defense to be able to make sure that ball does not hit the ground. And that all comes down to shutting down the gap, right? We, we can see it. They're looking to close the gap as much as they can between the front and back row while also keeping that front locked down. Absolutely, and it's always a good game in any sport. You got Lake Orion going at Clarkston. And let's look at the records real quick. Lake Orion is 13 and seven for the year, but they're three and one in the OAA Red. Yes. Clarkston is 14 and two, but they are undefeated in the OAA Red. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at they're going to try to take Clarkston off the undefeated totem pole, try to get themselves more evened up. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And both teams have some momentum as well because I mean both teams are coming off a win. Yep, Lake Orion obviously coming off the win against Seaholm. They're 3-0 three, uh, three Seaholm, and then Clarkson coming off the win against Adams. Yeah, absolutely, and here we go. Clarkson spiking it over the net. Peplowski puts it in the air. And then Clarkson saves it, number three. Gallagher puts it over, and Clarkston spikes it. Get their first point tonight. And you saw Sydney Small almost getting there. That's what it comes down to, what I said. Closing up the gaps. They're looking to really tighten up that defense and shut down that spike. Yes, and then Clarkston looking to get their second point of the night here. There's a serve. Serve. And that's out. And that is out of bounds, as it'll be It'll be Lake Orion ball with the spike. And that's something that both teams are going to have to work on really early, is eliminating the physical, yes. or sorry, the mental Absolutely. mistakes. They need to shut down. They need to be locked down. No mistakes that can shut them down in the later run. Yes. And then number six, Marley Smith with an amazing spike as she puts it over the net to give Clarkston their second point. And now number 15, Addison Newblatt will serve the ball for Clarkston. Newblatt serves it as it's bumped over the net by Petplowski. And you saw Lake Orion there. They're all playing really deep. They're not going up front. It's Clarkston spiking it back over the net with a nice powerful spike by number six, Marley Smith. And you can see after that goal, they're moving Libera, Sydney, uh, Sydney Bell over to the right-hand side. They're going to try to get that locked down and get a little bit more moving over there. Mm -hmm. Now Newblatt serves it. But I believe, it, yes, it went out of bounds. It'll be Lake Orion point. Lake Orion, Lake Orion will be serving. Number 13, Isabel Lawhorn coming in for number seven. It looks like, to, sorry, number three, Abigail Bruce. Dukas serves it for Lake Orion. And now Clarkston will put it up for number 11, Hunt. Bell Lake Orion will get it back. There. And now seven. As we were talking about earlier, Kayla Kogan there with that powerful spike as she gives her, gets her first individual point. And that's something they've been, you can see very early on, they moved everybody into the back row more, but that you can see it turned around and bit them because they had too many in the back, not enough room up front. They had a yes. wide open gap. Clark's been serving it. As Bronk bumps it in the air. Bronk going Bronk for it. Bronk for a spike but it is blocked by the Clarkston's number six, Marley Smith again. And Smith has been all over the floor tonight making plays. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to keep an eye on number six, Marley Smith, as well as number 14, Isabel Henry. Yes. They're both up front. They're looking like powerhouse defenders. Gallagher, Libero serving it for Clarkston. Dukas bumps it in the air. Bronx spikes it. Clarkston trying to get the ball over the net. He's Dukas oh, that was sets a beautiful it fake. with a, a beautiful 
Nice light set over the net. And you can tell yeah, absolutely like, Clarkson was not ready for that no, one. They, they were, they were expecting an aggressive spike there. And Lake rightfully Orion so. Mixed it up a bit there. Rightfully so. As we've seen all season, Devin Brunk has been a powerhouse hitter going up to the net on the left and right side, both ways, trying to spike it down. Oh, yeah. Then Clarkson, number 14, Isabel Henry coming back with a spike of her own there. Looks like Henry, it looks like they have some multiple players that can do it from oh, both yeah. the front Very and the back. Multi dimensional volleyball team we have Very here. Very liquid from flowing team. Yes. There's number six, Marley Smith heading back again. She's been up front all game. Well, Clarkson serves it as it's bumped by Bell, but Clarkson just lightly gives it a teeny tiny tap to put it right back over the net. Just a little dink right over, right up front. That's mul mm -hmm. multiple times it's happened this mm -hmm. game. I think you can, you're going to start seeing Lake Orion try to adjust to that and start playing that small ball a little bit more. Smith serves it as Bell bumps it. Bronk, Bronk it to Poplowski, but uh, it is blocked by Clarkson's number nine, oh. Josie Shett. Lake Orion seats correction. Lake Orion's going to call a timeout. They're going to try to regroup, see what they can change up on defense. They're looking pretty strong on offense so far, but defensively, we're obviously seeing some room to improve. I think they're going to start changing up, get a little bit more liquidity. Yeah, more liquidity. They, going they just got to uh, have some factors here to slow down Clarkson. I mean, Clarkson's coming out swinging. They've got multiple good spikes. They're playing good defense, and when they get the ball on their side, they make sure when it goes back over to Lake Orion's side, the ball is hitting the floor. Yeah, and they're really again, they're, Clarkson is not afraid to use the front and the back of that of their side. They're more than willing to put people up front, switch them in the back, whatever's working for them, they're doing. And you yes. say off the start, they're catching Lake Orion, mm -hmm. leaning on the back side, ready for those hard hits that go all the way to the back. They're getting them up front. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Time out here gonna end shortly. You can see Sydney Bell, Devin Brunk talking to the coach. They're trying to see what's going on. They're trying to see what they can do different. You're definitely gonna have to mix it up here. Number six, Charlie Smith. Sorry, Marley Smith going back for the serve once again. Smith serves it. He's bumped by Bell and Dukas. Popowski gonna tap it over the net, but it is not, it's stopped by Clarkston. Now it goes back over the net as Bell bumps it back over. Popowski looking to spike, but it is stopped again by Clarkston's number 14, Isabel Henry. And Henry has seemed to just been doing that all night long, just stopping those spikes from Lake Orion, just lightly tapping it on defense. You, and you're it seeing her at the front net. all night yeah. so far, and you're seeing right now that that was the same outcome as we've seen all game, but Lake Orion was definitely better with the liquidity and moving their team around in the circle, trying to get everybody up front. Oh, yeah. And now uh, Gallagher tried putting it back over the net, but... Uh, That's number four, Charlotte Peplowski, with a little then, dig right back over the net. Yes, her and Riley Hunt. They're making a substitution. Sydney Bell's going to come out. Now Hunt. And they're going to put serve. in Lila Eliason for Sydney Bell. And then Hunt's first serve goes over the net as Lake Orion gets a point. Score now 4 to 10. Clarkston in the lead. Just like that, Bell's back in. Carly Isabel tapped out. Number two, Morgan Lazi back for the serve. Lazi serves it back over as Dukas sets it and then does not get a point as Clarkson saves it. Oh, but it almost goes over, There's deflected the by Lake Orion. And then Bell bumps it in the air. Bronk to Pavlowski for a spike. But it is stopped again. Yep, they just barely got Poplowski with that double hit. That was just a what, bad luck of the draw. Yeah. Like Orion's been looking to run that spike play to Poplowski, but Clarkston just has an answer for it on defense all night long so far. Yeah, they're they're putting all their head, they're putting all the movement up front. The Popowski bumps it. Dukas trying to bump it back to Bronk, but just a little bit of miscommunication there. Yep, it looks like we're seeing a little bit of miscommunication and a little bit of hesitation on yes. that Lake Orion uh, defense. They're just trying to find out what's going to work with them. You see them moving around more. You see them moving better. They're getting there, but they're not quite where they need to be. Yes. As we go as a 12-4 is the uh, score with Clarkson in the lead. As uh, Lake Orion puts it over the net. But again, Clarkston, I believe that was Number six again, Marley Smith. Marley Smith putting it over the net. 
Yep, and it, she looks to be a powerhouse all night, but they're gonna keep hitting Lake Orion in that middle hole whenever it gets wide open, and they've shown that so far. They're gonna keep hitting them all night just like that. Oh yeah, and then like, once again, Clarkston serves the ball. This time number two, Morgan Lousy. The serve as Clarkston gets a point. Lousy again serves it. It's bumped by Bronk. Ball's in the air, Lake Orion spikes it. And that is a point for number 13, Haley Jones. That's what Lake Orion's looking for. They're looking to find those gaps in the uh, Clarkston defense. They haven't been able to do it. Hopefully this is the point where they can turn around. That's what they're hoping for. Oh, absolutely. Clarkston, Lazi serves it again. What? Looked like another double hit on yeah, Lake double Orion. hit. Again, it comes down to that communication aspect we were just talking yes. about. They need to get the communication up front moving a little bit better. But they're they're better than they started off with, but they just need to find those just little physical mistakes. Tune it in a little bit, yes. Dukas puts it up for number nine. Josie Seats. Or correction, Leah Eliason. Now Lake Orion's just looking to close in that gap. Eliason serves it. It's Clarkston's number 15. That was Henry. the first save on a spike we've seen really out of Lake Orion tonight. Yes. And another one back to back. There they go. Seats. And then Addison Newhall, Newblatt. That's more. Multiple now Lake Orion. spikes. There we are. Defended now. by Lake Orion. Now they're, Lake Orion's starting to get dialed in. They're starting to communicate better. You look at them. They're not going for the same ball anymore. Libero with a heck of a save there. And now they're starting to catch Clarkson off guard. They started off very strong, putting up 16 in the first couple of minutes. But now you're seeing Lake Orient. They're fine tuning the communication. They're getting really liquid. They have people moving around. They're not staying in one place. And they're closing those gaps. Absolutely. As Eliason serves it there for Lake Orient. But Newblatt bumping it back up in the air to her teammates. As Clarkston tries spiking it over the net, but it's defended by Lake Orient. Poplowski trying to make a spike over the net once again. Number 14 and number nine. Josie Seats and Isabel Henry have an answer for on defense as they're just jumping up in there, putting their hands up and stopping that spike that Lake Orion's trying to get. Yep, and now Lake Orion putting in number three, Abigail Bruce for number 13, Isabel Lawhorn. They're just trying to, again, they're trying to fine tune everything, get this back to the way they want it. Now Lake Orion making a spike there by number nine, Leah Eliason. Now Peplowski, Charlotte Peplowski, number four, is coming out. They're sending in Ella Johnson to serve. No. Now we're seeing a little bit more of what Lake Orion usually does. They're usually known for just putting in different servers. They're move, starting to move it around like they usually do as yes. far as the roster goes. Oh, yeah. Johnson serves it, but Clarkston just puts it right back over the net with a powerful spike there. Peplowski is back in. Yeah, Clarkson has been, just been throwing some early blows here at Lake Orion. They're looking to get this first set done and over with. They're, they're coming out strong. They're trying to get it. Mm -hmm. And we've seen Lake Orion and Clarkson go to a five-set match before where you only need to score 15. And yes. even that was still a really close close matchup. So we're trying to see if Lake Orion can come back and sort of close in, close this gap, maybe hope to get either the lead. Or that's an amazing spike Devin by Devin Devin Brunk Brunk. just put the muscle on that spike there, ladies and gentlemen. That was a heck of a spike. Clarkston was not expecting that one. Could you be a tell. momentum changer here for the Dragons. That that was not what we've seen all night. That we're, Lake Orion's gonna hope that that's a good turning point. Oh, absolutely. And now, good Clarkston defending. to get a spike of their own, but it's defended by Bell. Bronk puts it over the net, but it's defended by Clarkston. And now, There's looking to block. spike again, but defended by Lake Orion. There's Clarkson the block puts that over Lake there, Orion's been looking for. Poplowski, and now Bronk spikes it, but it appears to go out of bounds. And even and that one, Clarkson point. even that spike didn't even miss by that much. That was maybe half a foot out of bounds. Oh, I know, yeah. Devin Bronk is trying to get some momentum going here for the Dragons. And you can see that they're trying to put her up front more. They know that, he, that she's probably pretty intimidating for those people up front. You can see right now, they're still putting people up front, but nowhere near where they were. Clarkston now puts it up. 
And now number seven, Kayla Go Kogan, trying to make a spike there, but the spike goes out of bounds. It'll be Lake Orion's point. 19-10 Clarkston, Isabel Lawhorn comes back in, the freshman. Now Dukas looking to serve here for Lake Orion. She serves it. And now number three, Gallagher defends it. And now Kogan puts it back over the net. Brunk saves it. Dukas bumps it over the net. And now Kogan making a powerful spike, but still defended by Lake Orion. Great defense. Lake Orion looking to volley it back over the net, and they do. And now it is spiked over the net by uh, number 11, Riley Hunt for Clarkston. And we just saw some absolutely amazing defense. You heard the crowd. By Charlotte both Petlowski teams, yes. defending that spike. That's what Lake Orion's been needing all game. Now Dukas serving it over the net. But again, out of bounds. It'll be Clarkston point. Clarkston four points away from hitting the lucky number 25 and ending this first match. And this is what Lake Orion was hoping not for. They cannot afford to have these mistakes off the bat. They can't, they need to, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to lock it in, mm -hmm. really get everything together off the, to eliminate all those physical mistakes. Yes, and now number three, Gallagher. Try to make a serve, but it hits the net. It'll be Lake Orion ball. Brunk back to serve. They're starting to use her more as her powerhouse than she usually is. Yes, absolutely. Great save there by Clarkston. The Gallagher puts it over the net. And now Duke is putting it in the air. And now number 13. Lawhorn put that straight in the back. Yes, she did. Lawhorn put that in the back where the defense couldn't get the ball, giving Lake Orion the point. And now we're starting to see they're putting back up front. We, still, we see Isabel Henry still in there trying to hold down the front of the line for Clarkston. And again, Devin Bronk like spiking said, in the back. There's the power. Maybe, maybe there's the trick, putting the ball in the back corner. Because you've seen it. They've been trying to put it up front a little bit mid, uh, mid court all night. Yes, absolutely. And now Gallagher gets it. Oh, there's the fake that got him early. There it is. Again. It always gets him. I think Lake Orion was expecting a power spike there from Clarkston, but. I think that's what Clarkston faked doing. Them, yeah. Number nine for Clarkston, Josley Seats coming in. Emery Kubler out for right now. No. Smith serving it for Clarkston. Bell bumps it in the air. Brunk to Poplowski. You know, Poplowski spike is blocked by Clarkston. And now, as Clarkston tried to put it back over the net, is by blocked by two Lake Orion defenders. That just made it on the other side of the net. That's just bad luck on Lake Orion's Park. They weren't quite close enough to get the outcome they wanted from that. Now Smith trying to serve, but it hits the net. It'll be Lake Orion point and Lake Orion ball. And here we go. Lake Orion is down 22-15. Parkson's in a comfortable lead right now. They're up by seven. Let's see how the strategies are starting to change with Clarkson especially. Hunt serving it as it goes over the net. Clarkson looking to make a move here as Kogan puts it over the net, but it is Lake Orion point as the ball goes out of bounds as she was looking to hit that back right corner over there. And now we see Peplowski's back in. She's going back up front trying to get those spikes that she had early on. It's served by Hunt. Hunt, and now number nine, Seats. Puts the ball over the net. Sydney Bell back in. Now, Clarkston only two points away from ending this first match. Trying to look to get it done here. Now Clarkston serving. And now Poplowski putting it over, but it's defended in Gallagher. And she puts it up to number nine. Josie seats, but like Orion, it hits the net and it doesn't go over, and Lake Orion gets the point. Yeah, Lawhorn. Lake Orion is not trying to go down. The no, they're not. Set. They're not going down without, without a fight. fight. Wow. And now number 15, Addison Newblatt. Newblatt just blasted that ball back at Lake Orion. They're trying to show that they have it as yeah, much as Lake Orion does. They're trying to secure the bag here in the first match. They're trying to put it away. They got one more to go. Clarkson's up 24-17. Lake Orion is trying not to go out without a fight. And now Petker serving it for Clarkson. And now 
Orion puts it back over the net. And that's what Lake Orion's been looking for. They've been trying all night to get it. The mis they're trying to get Clarkson that miscommunication. Yes. They're trying not to be predictable. We saw so far tonight, Clarkson's been on top of Lake Orion as much as they're trying to fake it out, as much as they're trying to just tap it over. Lake Orion, or sorry, Clarkson is on top of it. So Ella, if, if Lake Orient can start catching Clarkson off guard, they'll be in a much better position moving forward. Ella Johnson coming in and now serving it for Lake Orient as Clarkson stops it. And now Newblatt putting it back over the net. Johnson bumps it to Brunk. Brunk bumping it over the net. Gallagher bumping it in the air. Newblatt taps it over the net. And that is a point for Clarkson. And that will be the end of the first match. Score. 19-25. And yeah, there we go. We're gonna try to see what Lake Orient can do different going into the second set. They do not want that to happen again. They do not want to come out of here really quickly. They want this to be a de defensive matchup. They need to get a little bit more fine-tuned on defense. We've seen them sort of falling apart right now, but I think once they start dialing in on defense, once they start closing up those small gaps that Clarkson keeps hitting, we've seen them hit it right in the middle. We've seen them hit it up front. Whenever Lake Orient starts leaning backwards on their heels, they go right up front. Whenever Lake Orient goes up front, they come on back. So just how Clarkson is reading Lake Orient, Lake Orient needs to read Clarkson a little bit better as far as offense. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And Clarkson's just bringing the momentum. I mean, that's how it is. I mean, in most matchups, when you have two good teams going at it, the team that brings the most momentum, that's the team that's going to come out with the win. And Lake Orion, I know for a fact, does not want to go into the third match down 2-0. to zero. So this is a very crucial next match for Lake Orion. Yeah, they don't want to leave here with Clarkson undefeated still. They do not want to see it. They really don't. It's not something they want. It's not, they don't want to fall behind in the OAA red mm -hmm. in the league matchups. They're just not trying, they're not trying to have that. So we need to see Lake Orion, we need that coach to just sort of talk to the players, see what they can do to sort of smallen up those gaps. Yes, absolutely. Now Lake Orion has a little bit of a student section here tonight. I mean, it's always good because I know I know usually in fall football games have a big student section, but it's always good when you can have sports like volleyball and other sports in fall get a good crowd too. Get some more attention than the bigger sports like yeah. football here. Yeah. Blackout theme tonight it looks like. Oh yeah. Looks like they're prepping here to get ready for the second set of the day. Okay, about a minute left till match number two is going to be starting here. Yeah, you see the coaches right now talking to each player more individually, trying to see what they can do individually dif different to see what they can do to come together as a team. Sort of get their positions, get their jobs prioritized, get them done right, and sort of try to shut down this Clarkson defense. Here they go. Both teams getting in position here as we are 20 seconds away from starting the second set. See, it looks like very familiar lineups going out there right now, Tyler. What do you think they're going to try to do a little bit differently here? Here's Maybe what I think. Clarkson's going to try Clarkson to more clearly has the upper hand here. So what they're going to do here is they're going to go straight at Lake Orion, powerhouse volleyball. Lake Orion, I'll be honest, I don't know. They know what works best for them in their team. I know they're going to come out with something different because clearly the spikes over in the front corners were just weren't working. So they're going to have to do something else in order to try to get the ball on the floor when it comes to on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, and we're seeing a very, very familiar Clarkson lineup out there right now. Lake Orion is very obviously trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Just see, because they need to start reading better, as we've said before. If they can start reading their the Clarkson offense, they can start shutting them down, making them make substitutions, sort of breaking down their team a little bit more than they have been. Looks no. like Sidney Bell's going to be back to serve yes. Lake Orion. Sydney Bell, the libero tonight for Lake Orion. She serves it over the net. Clarkson will bump it in the air. As Newblatt spikes it, and it is touched by O'Rourke, but still not able to get the point, and Clarkson getting the first point yeah, in the second see, set. You can see Peplowski going all out for that back yeah. there in the back of the court. This Newblatt has some power, man, with that spike. It's yeah. hard yeah, to And do. speaking of Newblatt, there she goes. She's serving right now for Clarkson. 
And she serves it over the net. And now Bell bump her, it in the air. Her serves are going really deep in the back wheel. Ooh. And that's down for Lake Orion. Yes, it is. And that'll be it'll be a Lake Orion's first point as Devin Brunk once again showing off that power on the spike. And now Dukas. Going gonna, back to serve, and we've seen her sort of be a reserve. Oh, when absolutely, things aren't, yeah. When things aren't going right for Lake Orion, they put Dukas back there, see what she can do. Absolutely, yeah. Really good defense there by Peplowski as well as Dukas. Clarkston going to put it, try to put it over the net. Kogan, and that's exactly, and I believe I think, it will be, yes. Kogan gets the point for Clarkston. And that was a little bit of communication error on Lawhorn and Sydney Small. They yeah. did not have the right communication. They both went for the same ball. It, that's not what they're looking for. Lake Orion's looking to clean that up a little bit, sort of eliminate those mistakes. Absolutely. Now Gallagher going to put it over the net as Dukas bumps it to Brunk. Brunk going to try to spike it over the net, but it is defended by Clarkston. And now Kogan going to try to put it over the net, defended by Bell. Brunk with a spike. Diving Blocked by Newblatt. By Newblatt. Now Clarkston going to put it over the net. Bumped by Bell. Sydney Small wow. with a spike. Clarkson defense right there was almost perfect, but it wasn't quite enough. Lake Orion's going to run away with that point. Sydney Small puts that ball right in the middle, right between all the defenders, making it hard for him to defend. They're, that's so hard On to communicate. Very, for very players. nice spike there by number 22, Sydney Small. Now Bronk, and the serve is no good. It'll be Clarkson ball. There's Clarkson's first substitution. Looks like number nine, Jazzy Seats, coming in for number 12, Emery Kubler. No, Smith. That's what Lake Orion's looking for. Yes. The more substitutions, the better, as far as Lake Orion's concerned. Now, Clarkson's number six, Smith. Kogan putting it up over the net. And now, that Devin shot, with a set over the net. That shot right there has been getting Lake Orion all night. And it got him right there, but you can see Peplowski was already in position to block that before the ball even came their way. That's what the reading, that's what communication they're looking for is. Yeah. Now it doesn't look like that on the scoreboard, but it looks like Lake Orion might start to get communicate a little better, start to get the flow of Clarkson's offense just a bit more. Now Smith with a serve. Get bumped by Bell. And now Lake Orion putting it over the net. His new black puts it in the air to Kogan. And it is defended by Lake Orion's number 13 and 22, Sydney Small. And that was almost really and good. And Isabel Lawn Lawhorn. And if that's in bounds, that's a beautiful block, but it's just the angle wasn't right for them. Smith. Now to back to Poplowski. Gonna put it over the net. That's and the play Lake is Orion dead, point. but it will be Lake I Orion believe point. Yeah, Lake Orion point. All right, we're looking at a 5-3 Lake or sorry, 5-3 Clarkston, a much tighter gap than we saw in this uh, set beforehand. Mm -hmm. This is Lake Orion is happier, better to see this than what we saw last time, where Clarkston sort of ran away early and then Lake Orion had to play catch up. Yeah, absolutely, don't want to have to play catch up here. Now Clarkston's number 14, uh, Isabel Henry, with a monster spike. Uh, yeah, Clarkson will get the point there. And now, number two, Morgan Losey will serve the ball for Clarkston. All right, now keep our eyes on number 15, Newblet for Clarkston. She's she was in the back corner for the beginning of this set. Now they just moved her up front. They're trying to get a little bit more blocking on that on those spikes to try to eliminate any hopes of Lake Orion getting the point. Yes. Now Lake Orion with a nice little tap over the net, putting it over right in the middle. And now, I mean, they're still down two points, but very doable for them to win this, yeah. And now, Gallagher bumping it over the net, Bronk. And now, that's mis communication between see. Bronk and the rest of the Dragons there as the ball goes out of bounds, and it'll be Clarkston Point. That's not what Lake Orion's looking to see. That's what we saw in the first set. Yes, They're trying to leave that behind. Get away from that miscommunication. It's been hurting them all night long. Now, Clarkston serving it. Bumped by Brunk. 
Dukas puts it up to Eliason. Perfect little dink over the net. That's that's what we're talking about, getting Clarkson off guard. That's what they're looking for. That's what they're doing. That's what they just did. Yeah, very nice little tap over the net there by Eliason. Looks like number 12, Ella Johnson, back to serve for Lake Orion. They brought her back in. Saw her a couple times in the first set. They're going to try it again. Johnson getting ready to serve here. Johnson serves it over the net. This is bumped back over by, oh, nope, correction. It is Lake Orion. Puts it, plays great defense there. And that we just yeah. saw a bad communication by Clarkston. We saw three people up front. We put we saw the set and just no communication between them. That's what that's what causes that. Johnson serving. And now Nublet. we see Newblet back in the yes. back in the backfield. And now Clarkston spiking it back over the net, getting another point. And now we're starting to see Clarkson move it around a little bit more. Looks like they might be trying some new things, trying to really run away with the lead on Lake Orion. It's yes. still only 8-6, so we might see we might see Clarkson try something new that we haven't seen yet today to try to run away with that lead. Now, number 12, Kubler. Serving it as it hits Charlotte Poplowski. Just uh and it looks like error they're okay, there for but that was a that was an error yeah, communication error, wise yeah. between Sidney Bell and Peplowski. Um Kubler. 12, Kubler back to serve. Peplowski bumps it. And now Brunk with a monster spike. That's what they're that's what they want to see out wow. of Brunk. Just coming straight up to the net with a running start and just blasting that ball straight back into the corner on one side. That was a Pretty good cross serve. Yes, or that's cross why play, sorry. players like Devin Brunk are going to play at the next level next year, as she will be. She's a senior this year, so be, she'll be going on to play college volleyball next year. And that's now, a beautiful Addy execute Dukas play with a very nice tap over the net to give Lake Orion another point. And now Lake Orion down one as Bell will serve here. And this is this is what Lake Orion was hoping to see. They're happy to see this. It's only a one-point game. They're looking to keep it up this way. And that's what they wanted to yes, see. Tie game. Clarkston having a little bit of an error there as Seat's looking to get a spike, but it hits the net. It doesn't go over, and Lake Orion will get a point, tying up the game. And now we're seeing Clarkston. We called this earlier. They're shifting their defense completely. They got New Bled up on the front right of the net. That ball was just a bad... Yeah, just bad luck on Lake Orion. Bad luck is Bell trying to get a nice bump there, but goes a little bit to the right going out of bounds. Yep, and we just saw Newblet. They just doubled up on one side, left the middle wide open. I'm wondering if that's something they're trying to try to shut down that Lake Orion spike from Devin Brunk. Yes. Now Dukas going to give it to Brunk. Brunk going to tap it over the net. Clarkston's Gallagher trying to do something with it. As Clarkston's number six, Smith with a monster spike, but it goes out of bounds and Lake Orion will get the point. Just barely out of bounds. That was a really good spike, but it just wasn't, it was very close, but it was not, it didn't get that line like yes. they wanted it to. Now Dukas for the serve. Dukas, and now Kogan with a bump. And now. And that was a failed yeah, set. That's many, a double hit yeah. on Clarkston. Too many touches over there on the ball. It'll be Lake Orion point. And now Lake Orion. the first time yet. Lake Orion taking the lead here. Yep, Making Lake Orion with an 11-10 lead, and that's a 60-second timeout. Mm -hmm. Looks like that was by Clarkston. And this is what Lake Orion was looking for. Yeah, They're finally momentum. starting. It's, the momentum has shifted. They're yeah. looking to really start to just break down the Clarkson defense. Mm -hmm. Clarkson has made more switches in the past, I'd say, three minutes than they have the whole entire first set. Yeah. They're, no. they're shifting. They're trying to find out what they're doing. Because they, Lake Orion is starting to catch on. And we're seeing that with every with every play as every as the game progresses on. We're just seeing Lake Orion really start to catch up and just starting to break down the Clarkson defense, find the gaps they needed to find in the first set that they weren't able to. Yes. Absolutely, and you can see just Lake Orion's confidence growing as they're going over there to the timeout and just getting a little team meeting going here. Like players like Sydney Bell, you can just see the excitement. I mean, they're not nervous at all. They're bringing the heat here, coming out of the timeout. And I'm I'm excited to see what Lake Orion has to offer now. And there is zero, absolutely zero hesitation by Lake Orion right now. In the first set, we saw a ton of hesitation, a ton of communication.
communication errors. Just absolutely nothing. They weren't able to communicate. They had balls dropping right next to them in between two of them. But now we're looking at just absolute, they're selling out. Like we saw Peplowski earlier go out of bounds for it. They're just absolutely going, selling out for everything. Just like that. Yes. Now Dukas putting it up. Longhorn as well. Clarkson saving it. Kogan we're trying to get a spike, but it's defended by Lake Orion. But and that's Clarkson tied. gets it back and spikes it over the net and gets the point. And now that's tied back at 11-11. But we're seeing a lot more promising defense out of Lake Orion. We saw they moved, they shifted everybody up front. They shifted the defense up front. They got multiple blocks. And even when Clarkson was able to set the ball and get the ball coming the way, they were on it before it even got there. That's what they wanted to see in the first set. Now Pawlowski gonna hit it over. And now Kogan drills it right at number two, Sidney Bell. As Lake Orion is unable to capitalize there on that monster spike by Clarkston. And here they go. They're going back to the, what they were doing originally. They stopped moving it around. Now they got three up front, one middle, one back, right next to the server. That's what they were doing at the first set. That's what worked. Now they're trying to go back to the, what. There's a big, big spike by Devin Brunk. Yes, that was a monster spike there, but still, like, uh, Clarkston's just got, like, the great wall going over there. As soon as the ball goes over the net, Clarkston just has multiple of their players jump up and block it. And I'm wondering if we're going to try, if Lake Orion's going to try to start doing some more cross spikes where they try to get it going the opposite direction because every time they go straight in front of them, Clarkston is right on top of them to block it. And now, Lake Orion having a little bit of a... Miscommunication error is the ball is spiked and hit off of number four, Charlotte Poplowski, and it'll be Clarkston serve. Number three, Kylie Gallagher. We've seen her spend serving a lot more set two. I don't know if she set or served at all set one, but now she's, they're putting her back there and she's putting in work. Now Clarkston, as Newblatt puts it over the net, and now Bell, and now it looked like the ball was touched by Clarkston before and that it went over the not, net. Yes. Clarkston is not happy with that call. No. Number six, Marley Smith is already up there talking to the ref. They're not happy with that call. Yeah, and we're seeing Clarkson's coach walking out right now. Lake Orion now down two. And this is a very Ram head up, head up matchup right now that we're seeing. They're hitting each other hard. They're going all out. And now Lake Orion. Number 24, Devin Bronk and Sidney Bell all fired up now. Off the bat, that's what that's that quick efficiency that they want. Yes. And now they're gonna keep Bronk back there until something goes wrong, because it looks like she's working right now. And Gallagher now. And now Kogan gonna put it back over. And a great save, save by, by Sidney Bell. Yeah, Bell, Popalski gonna put it over as it hits the ground. And now Popalski. And, and now that was tying it up. Clarkson, number six, Barley Smith, talking to the ref again. They don't, they're disagreeing with those calls. Yeah, Clarkson. But they're, they're bang, bang, bang. They're real close right now. Mm -hmm. Devin Brunk back to serve again for Lake Orion. Seeing some visual frustration out of everybody on Clarkson right now. Coach is a little bit more out than she was. She's not sitting down anymore. She's yeah, getting they're in it. it. Yeah. And then number 14, Henry just blast that ball into the middle of the floor. Big goal, big point for Clarkston to take that lead back at 15-14. Now Smith will serve it here for Clarkston. We've seen her serve a lot tonight. We've seen a lot of effectiveness out of her. A lot of first hit po uh, points for uh, Clarkston. Now Duke is gonna tap it over the net. Looks like a double hit from Lake Orion. Yes, double touch. And now it'll be Clarkston's point, and Clarkston will be serving here. Smith back again for the serve. Smith serving, his bell bumps it. And now Lawhorn will put it over the net, that might be giving the Lake Orion the point. Time. That might be the first time tonight we've seen Lake Orion do that. Yes. That's not something we've seen very much Using of. Using the gentle touch of the ball to get a point. And we saw, we even saw a fake out right there. Yeah. We saw somebody, oh, we yeah. saw, I think that was number 13, Ella, or sorry, Isabel Lawhorn go up there with a fake out. I don't mm -hmm. think we've seen that all night. And now, Lake Orion 
putting it, giving it to Clarkston, and then Kogan spiking it back over the net, giving Clarkston the point. There's more substitutions by Clarkston. Looking like two at once right here. They're putting Kylie Gallagher and they're putting Morgan Lazi back to serve. Now, Lazi serving. Poplowski going to bump it. And now Eliason putting it over the net, but saved by Gallagher. Now, Poplowski going to hit it, but it is blocked. Oh, once again, by those two girls in the middle, number 14 and number nine, uh, Henry and Seats. And with Lazi back to Lake serve, Orion there. And with Lazi back to serve again, I'm wondering if when and if Lake Orion is going to try to start trying something new there. Yeah, they're as far as just getting a spike over. Trying there. to work their best play, the but struggling a little bit, obviously. And now, Lazi going to be serving here for Clarkston. Yep, see, look at that. They got Smith and Gallagher in the front, in the middle. But they got the big three up front. And now, Law. The powerhouse is on Carson to put Number it up front 15, right New Blatt has just been all over the floor tonight with these powerhouse spikes and defensive moves, just making plays for Clarkston. Yep, and that's what I'm saying. They're putting her up front every time because they know she can, not only can she block it, but she can come out with a powerhouse, or just a power hard hitting spike. And now, as it's put over the net, like Orion saves it, and Eliason puts it over the net as. It's tipped and fumbled there by Clarkston. Lake Orion will get a point. Now looks like that's number five. Allison O'Rourke heading back to serve. O'Rourke putting it over the net. It is now Clarkston trying to spike it as it's saved by Dukas. Good save, good communication there by Lake Orion. Nuvlat as it tips off the net. Clarkston will get another point. Wait. Correct, yeah. Clarkston gets the point. And this set, the entire set, has been back and forth and back and forth. It's now 19-17 Clarkston. They still had the lead. I'm wondering if they're, with the amount of substitutions they're doing, are they trying to take the main load off of the starters? Yes. For sure could be an objective. Smith putting it up in the air. A seat. Putting it up. And now Pavlowski trying to get it over the net, but it just wasn't enough as it doesn't go over the net and Clarkston gets the point. And now Clarkston's number eight, Petker. And that was a really serve smart move it, by Devin Braun. Normally the, she would yeah, hit that. Just but let it, bail right it go out. out of bounds. That was really Playing good smart. recognition. Like Orient, only down by two. And this game hasn't came to a halt yet. It's still going. They're, mm -mm. Both teams chugging along. The score keeps running up as time goes on, but they're they're still only down by two. They, they can come back and get this set. It's just a matter of how they're going to do it. They need to figure that out. Yes. Now Clarkston going to try to spike with Newblatt, and it works again. And Newblatt that, leading Clarkston right now in individual points. And I'm pretty sure that that was intentional, the way they just dinked that over the net instead of giving that, that hard-hitting spike that she's known for. Yes. Because that was not what Lake Orion was expecting. We saw Sydney Bell and Alice O'Rourke both drop back to get ready for the hard spike that goes fast, mm -hmm. but they just tapped it right over. She put it right in front of them. Now Clarkston serving as I think they tried letting the ball and it, it does be, yeah, it is Clarkston point. I think Lake Orion thought the ball was going to go out of bounds, but. Yep, we saw Sydney Bell try the yes. same thing that Bronk did, where she bails out on the last second, just barely in bounds still. It looks like it hit that line, so it's still in. That's a point for Clarkston. Bell bumping it, and now Bronk with a monster spike as Clarkston tries to deflect it and put it back over, but the strength from Bronk was just too much as Lake Orion gets the point. Now they're trying to answer. They're down three now. They're trying to answer back with those hard spikes by Newblatt. Now they're trying to have Brunk do the same thing, show that they can do it too. Newblatt with a monster spike there again as Dukas puts it over her head for a save. And now with a light bump there. Big save. Brunk 
I'm going to try to do a monster spike again, but it just doesn't work. And, and it goes a, out of bounds, and Clarkson gets a point. And I don't know if Brunk was quite expecting that. That was a set from across the court. It looks, uh, Who set that? I believe that was Dukas in the bottom right yes. corner right there. She was setting it across there. I don't think that was meant to be a set originally. McGorian got to take advantage of these errors being made here by the Wolves. Now Lawhorn checked in as Dukas will be serving. Dukas puts it over. And now Kogan just drills it over the net, giving Clarkston point number 24, one away from 25 and closing out this second set. And they, she hasn't been a powerhouse. She hasn't been on the map all night with that. Like we've been seeing a lot of new blood. We've been talking about her new going blight, up yeah. there and just slamming the ball down. We haven't seen very much from Kogan. It's good to see that they're putting pe different people up front that can still do the same thing. Yes. And now Bronk trying to make a move. Wow. As that, that ball probably would have been out of bounds, but it hits. That was Clarkson. coming in hot. There was no moving out of the way I mean, of that. That ball one. was like a missile going that, over the net. It was moving. There's not much. Uh, looks like that was Marley Smith. There's not much she could have done to get out of the way of that one. Yes, and now Clarkston going to put it over as it's saved by Dukas. Bell bumping it to Poplowski. Poplowski going to put it over as Newblatt saves it. Bell bumping it. To Poplowski is Gallagher saving it for Clarkston. And now Smith with a spike, but saved again by Dukas. And Clarkston is completely shifting their defense. I've watched the three in the back shift up front two or three times in this one volley. And now Bell saving it as Longhorn puts it over the net. Moly moly. Brunk with a big save. Dukas saving it. Longhorn putting it over the net. And now Gallagher. And now Kogan. And that's what it does. For the Kogan again with a massive spike. But what that was an amazing volley. For both really good teams there both just blocks. going at it. Two heavyweights colliding there. That was a really good matchup. We saw yes. that's the longest volley we've seen all night. And that's the most grit we've seen out of both teams all night. We haven't seen that yet. That was as that's what a, co a coach wants right there. That's what a coach loves to see. Yeah, so now uh, gonna be difficult now for uh, and we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with you. As the voice of Michigan student athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports are supposed to be played. We were responsible for helping the MHSAA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere in which interscholastic students can thrive. We believe athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe students in the stand should have fun, but not take the focus away from the game. We believe coaches should act as teachers, helping student athletes develop while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models and be supportive of their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports. And respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports while well, maintaining a high level of respect for all those involved in the games. Enjoy the game. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Welcome back, Lake Lor Lake. Welcome back, Lake Orion. We're here at the Lake Orion High School Fieldhouse, where Lake Orion's taking on Clarkston. We're entering set three now. Tyler, what do you got for us? Well, 
I mean, there's not really much to say. Clarkston has been all over the floor tonight, making plays on offense and defense. I mean, we saw that last volley between both teams was insane. It was, it was really going gritty. back and forth. I mean, you got Newblatt and Kogan making plays all over for Clarkston, and then you have Bell, Popowski, and Devin Brunk on Lake Orion contributing the most for their team, just doing everything they can to try to stay in this. I mean, it's still possible here for late for a Lake Orion comeback, but it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be really hard for Lake Orion to make a comeback right now. They're already down two sets. Clarkson is looking to run away with this one early, put it in the books, and get out of here undefeated still. But we're looking at the lineup right now. We see Newblatt back up front. Newblatt and Smith are both back in the lineup starting up front. I don't think they've taken a set off yet. Between them, I think it's been a couple of plays that they haven't been in. But speaking on that last volley, we've started to see a little bit more grit coming out of both teams. Lake Orion had an amazing defense that last Right, like yeah. that, and last set. I think Lake Orion is definitely going to hope to see that more in the future. And now Clarkston going to start this next set off, serving it. Number 12, Kubler. And we've seen her serving all night. Oh, yeah, she's been making plays too. She's been doing a great job. Dukas putting it up for Eliason. Is now Lake Orion going to get the first point? Lake Orion starting off strong, one zip. That was a miscommunication on Clarkston. You see them talking about it right now. That's what Lake Orion was trying to do the entire day. They're trying to come out with plays that they were not expecting and sort of break down the defense. Sydney Bell serving. Now Kovler going to put it up to Newblatt. Now Bell with a, a very aggressive spike there. For Lake Orion, and now Lake Orion going to get another point. That's what Lake Orion's been looking for. Finally coming out strong. I don't think anyone them what would have expected Lake Orion to come out in this next set up two to zero. And we're going to end up seeing is this a sign that they're going to get this set and start and go to another game? As now, that was an amazing spike by Newblatt. Amazing powerhouse, powerhouse Newblatt spike, as she's been doing all night long. For all three sets, she's been up there, up in the front. She can work in the back. She's an all-around player. Oh, yeah, showing her athletic ability as Popowski putting it up. And Brunk putting it over the net. Diving save by Newblatt again. Bell to Dukas. And now with a monster Big spike, spike again. Big spike Devin by Brunk. And it seems every once in a while something gets into her and she just runs up there and just puts everything into it and puts it straight back in Carson's yeah. face. It's like that's 13, Isabel Lawhorn, the freshman, coming back into the game as Dukas is back to serve. Uh, as Dukas going to serve it. Is now Smith putting it over the net. And Dukas going to put it back over ahead to Bell. And Bell putting ball, it over the net. That ball off of Bell hit the catwalk, but that's still in play. Big save from Peplowski. Here's now, Brunk. Brunk going to put it over. And now Newblatt going to put it over the net. Peplowski in the back. The trying to get a monster spike, but it doesn't go over. It hits the net, and Clarkston gets the point. That was Clarkston's Kayla Kogan and Riley Hunt up front. They've been up front all night along with Peplowski. They're up there to block. That's what they're, that's what they're up there to do. They've done a great job of it, and they're showing to still be doing it. Now Clarkston's Gallagher going to serve. Bell. Bumping it as Lawhorn tries to put it over, but it's no good. There's another block. They're going to try again. And now putting it right on the corner. Right there from the Devin flagger. Brunk. It was in play, very close, a little bit of hesitation, but it was right in there. That's that's what they want to see as Lake Orion is up 4-2. They've maintained the lead for longer than they have all night. Yes. And now Clarkston putting it back over to Bronk. Big small. Save. Big save from Clarkston. They're going to try to get it going back that way. Smith going to try to make a spike, but it goes out of bounds, and Lake Orion gets the point. Is Lake Orion's up 5-2. to two. And now that Lake Orion's starting to see something work, you see they haven't made a single substitution. They are putting in what works, and they're not going to change it. Absolutely. Carrying out the momentum. It's Kogan. Tries making another spike, but it goes out of bounds. Lake Orion just going to keep taking advantage of Clarkson's errors here in and, set number three. And we talked about Devin Brunk in the back earlier. She is she has really good ball sense. When she when the ball is going out of bounds, she knows. We just saw it again back to back that we've seen all earlier tonight. And now Kogan 
Then Kogan showing off her power spike there, as we had talked about before the game. Kogan, one of the better players on Clarkson's team. Team captain showing, as well? Yes. That's number six. Marley Smith back to serve for Clarkston. They got some of the more powerhouses up front right now. Yes. A little bit of a communica communication error by Lake Orion. Bronk with the serve over. And now, Kogan gonna put it over. Big save from Peplowski there. And now Newblatt trying to make a diving effort to put that over the net, but she was just a bit too far back. Nothing she could have done about that. She was lined up a little bit back, more back than she needed to. Yes. Good, good put, good dink over there by Peplowski. Now we no. see number 11, Carly Zibbo, come back into the game. Now Zibel will serve as Smith puts it up. Big save from Lake Orion. And they got the double hit on number three, Kylie Gallagher. Lake Orion really playing, like they're playing like a whole different team here. This is a different squad than we've yeah. seen all night so yeah. far in the first two sets. Zibel going to serve. And now Gallagher will make a bump. They tried to get it in the middle, just a tap like they have tonight. Big block by Clarkston. Can they save it, Lake Orion? Dukas, now Pavlowski putting it over the net. Gallagher. Big fake out from Clarkston. Oh, Lake Orion almost had it as well. Lake Orion just putting it a bit out of bounds there. And that was not expected by anybody. I don't think we've seen that. I think we've seen that maybe once or twice so far tonight. Now, number two, Losey going to serve. Losey serves over the net as Dukas puts it in the air for Lawhorn. Gallagher putting it in the air. And now Clarkston puts it over the net. Poplowski spiking it, giving Lake Orion another point. And you know, Tyler, I just noticed something. We are seeing significantly less spikes out of Clarkston. We saw late last set, early in this set, yeah, they Lake were trying to spike a ton on Lake Orion, and they kept shooting it, over, overshooting it, putting out of bounds. Now we're seeing a lot less of the spikes, the big power spikes, and a lot more taps in the middle. And now Smith tipping it to Cobbler. Bell to Poplowski. Now Gallagher, Smith. Now Clarkston having some trouble here, getting the ball over the net. Big save. It's new Blatt. Blast it, but it's saved by Brunk. And now Lake Orion putting it over the net. Big no. block from Lake Orion. Yeah. That's their point. Lake Orion is bringing the heat here because they are almost. That yeah, is 11 to 4. 60 second timeout from Clarkston. This is what we were trying to see. Lake Orion is coming out with heat. It is 10-4 to Lake Orion. Yes. They're up by, this is the most they've had in the lead all night. They're looking to keep it. We're looking at their demeanors are significantly different from what we saw earlier. We saw a lot of defeat, a lot of, un, a lot of hesitation beforehand. And now we're seeing almost none of that. And yeah, now Lake Orion just, it, it almost seems like they've been sticking with the same game plan. Just limiting Clarkston's amount of spikes on defense, which is really a big game changer here. Yeah, for Lake Orion, it looks like it's less about strategy and more about execution. If they can execute their uh, offense, they can score. If they mm -hmm. can execute their defense, they can shut down Clarkston. We've seen it so far in this set. They're doing a really good job at both. They're going to try to keep it up. See a lot of confidence out of Lake Orion right now. Let's hope to see it again. That's number five, Allison O'Rourke for Lake Orion back to serve. O'Rourke serving. As Losey stops it, but the new Blatt blasting it over the net. There's the spikes again, they're coming back with it. And now Smith to New Blatt. And now New Blatt putting it over the net. Giving her team another point tonight. Right as I mentioned that they were stopping it here. They come back after that timeout. Looks like they regathered themselves. They're going to keep trying it. It worked earlier in the first two sets. They're going to keep trying it this set. Serve no. number 14, Isabel Henry. Now Poplowski as it's saved by Smith. And now Seat will, will try to make 
a spike there, but it hits the net for Clarkson, giving Lake Orion the point. And that was team captain number seven, Kayla Kogan. She's been spiking all night. It looks like, I'm pretty sure, it looks like that the coach talked to them. They're trying to get more spikes off. And you saw Kogan right there, it just didn't work out. And now Johnson putting it over. And his bell tries to make a save, but it's no good. And now Clarkson trying to make a comeback here. As Peplowski comes in for Lake Orion, and Johnson is checked out. And that's number 12, Emery Kubler, back to serve. We've seen her on and off serving all night. And they got New Blit back up front. And now Cobbler serving as it's hit off Lake Orion and Clarkson gets another point. It's very critical in volleyball too. Like you got to take advantage of the other team's errors and both teams trying to work that same philosophy here tonight. Yes, and Lake Orion is still up 11 to seven. They're not stressing quite yet, but the moment that Clarkson gets within three or four, or sorry, within three, it's gonna be trouble. And there's a big spike from Devin Brunk as they go up 12-7. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she just blasted that ball over the net. Oops. And that's 22, Sydney Small back in for Lake Orion. Sydney Bell back to serve. Now, looks like a little cleanup there for Lake Orion side of the court. And we're seeing a little bit more movement out of Lake Orion right now as well. That's what we were talking about first set, moving. They need to get moving. And that's, that's what they're starting to do. It's starting to work out. Absolutely. Bell can drill it over as now Smith with a monster spike, Ooh, but it's wow. saved by Lake Orion. Big time save from Allison O'Rourke. Bumped she over. Into the chairs. Bumped over by Brunk, but now Smith gonna put it over as O'Rourke tries making a save, but just a little too late on the jump. Yep, looked like they were ready for the power spike like we've seen mm -hmm. all night, but just caught them off guard there. New Blatt serving the ball for Clarkston as it is hit at Poplowski, and Poplowski having a little bit of trouble getting the ball up in the air to her teammates there. Yeah, looks like she didn't know exactly to set it or to bump it. New Blitt with the serve. Off the net. And now Brunk with a just, big time spike. Holy, is it, they save it and it goes out of bounds, but now New Blatt putting it over the net to Bell. Dukas sets it as Small spikes it. Gallagher now to Smith. Smith, as the ball goes out of bounds on the spike and Lake Orion will get the point. Lake Orion point, big time. Serve, looks like Clarkson's not very happy with that call there. Flagger got hit, so it was kind of hard to tell. Yeah. But yeah, we got Dukas back to serve again. She's been reliable all night for Lake Orion. Now you got Dukas serving. Now uh, Clarkson looking to adjust a bit here. Looks like a little bit of talk between Yep, they're gonna have a little bit of chat between the flagger and the ref real quick, see what the call was. And I, I, I mean, I'm not blaming the flagger. I don't think she could see it from her angle because she it, that ball was coming right at her. Oh, that, go yeah, that ball was coming ball. at her 100 miles an hour there. It was, it was coming in hot. And then uh, Kogan now, gonna give it to her teammates. And now Bell looking to make a bump to Brunk. Big time Bron serve. They are just using Brunk's power here to their advantage. And you know, this quarter, all night. I mean, Brunk's had power all game long, but her accuracy this quarter has just been on point. I agree. We've seen a complete overhaul this set. And now Smith giving it to Bell. Dukas puts it up for Brunk, and that's a looks like Karsten goal. Yeah, the play is dead. Double tap on Lake Orion.
All right, looks like that's Clarkson's number three, Kylie Gallagher back to serve right now. Gallagher gonna put it over. Keplowski puts it up to Dukas. Looks like they're going for Brunk already. Big time. Yep, that was just well placed by Brunk. You were just talking, Tyler, about the accuracy. Yeah, and she's, that's just she's just right on there. point. She's got, she got the confidence and the momentum going. And that's a Clarkson timeout. For Lake Orion up five here. It will take a minute timeout here for Lake Orion. As Lake Orion just going to keep bringing the momentum here, just continuing to do what they've been doing all, not all, here we go here in the third set. Yeah, and I mean, seriously, we've seen a, just a complete revamp in their game style right now. They used to be very on their heels. We saw it a lot. It was very dominant in the first set of being on their heels, staying back, ready for the hard spike. But now they're going, they're, they're prepared for either side now. If they're going to, if Clarkson's ready to dink it over, they're going to get it. And if they got to go back because of a big spike off of Newblet or Kogan, they're still ready for it. Oh, and absolutely. That's the, and that's one of the bigger game changers as well. In addition to, of course, Brunk's accuracy completely changing here in the third set. We've seen a lot of really well-placed spikes. Yeah, but I would never, I don't want to count Clarkson out of this at all because, I mean, Clarkson's been on point all night long. Who says they can't turn this around? Oh, right absolutely, here? yeah. There, there's a good chance they come back, but there's also a chance that Lake Orion can continue going on with lead, run away with it, and catch themselves a set to send this to set four. Kayla Kogan there, that was just, that was a monster spike there from the captain from the Clarkston volleyball team. Very well placed as Marley Smith goes back to serve. And that's that seems to be one of the game changers tonight from both squads. The spikes. Is the yeah. spike accuracy. If they can put it where they need to, it's a game changer. And now communication trying to make a save, but... Looked like a big mis miscommunication yes. right there from Lake Orion. Difficult. Uh, Clarkston placed that ball perfectly, too. That was very... Very good. That wasn't Carson's a hard offense. spike. Yeah. I, that was just a little dink right in the middle. Now Bell trying to bump it as it's just. This is where Lake Orion needs to dig deep. Yes. Right now, it is very easy for Lake Orion to start. The momentum has shifted back into Carson's court. If Lake Orion starts to break down and they start losing focus and communication skills, then we can see Carson run away with this game right now. And now, Lawhorn. Trying to spike it over the net, but it goes out of bounds. And now, again, Clarkston will get back into this game within a point of Lake Orion now. Yep, and we saw that cross spike from Lawhorn. Lake Orion timeout here once again. We see whenever the teams need to just take a minute to regather their time. Yeah, Lake timeout. Orion just need to take a deep breath here and just try to regather themselves as they go back out against Clarkston. And as obvious as, as obvious as it sounds, they need to just find out what they did that worked. They yes. need to dig deep, find what they were doing, because for the start of this third set, they were running away with it. And, and Clarkston. But now they're coming, yeah. Clarkston's coming back. They're, Lake Orion's only up one. It's 15-14 in the third set. If Clarkston wins this set, it's they're, they're done. They're all going home tonight. Clarkston goes home undefeated. And Lake Orion goes home, I believe, three and two for the OAA Red. Yes, and Clarkston just, the thing with, I mean, they're 14 and two. They're a great team and they're undefeated in the OAA Red. So, and Clarkson's just a great team. One thing they've been doing with their spikes, I've been realizing, is they haven't been spiking it hard all the time. Sometimes they'll go light, sometimes they'll go hard. A very medium, good, they'll, they'll, a very good mixture of yes. both. I see. Yeah. It all depends on because they're looking like they the players themselves can read Lake Orion's defense pretty well. It looks like they know when to soft tap it. They know when to spike it hard. Now Gallagher will put it up. Big set. And now number 14, Henry. Just try spiking the ball there, but it'll be Lake Orion point as it goes out of bounds. And yep. now Eliason will come in now for Bell. And so will number oh. nine, it looks like Lila Eliason, as well as number 11, Carly Zabel. Zabel going gonna to serve. And now Number 14, Quabler, going to try and spike it, but it's de defended by Lake Orion. And now... Carson's trying that new. They haven't been trying that yet tonight. They're trying to cross spike, try to go opposite of their throwing hand. Now, Bronk in the air. Lawhorn with the spike. Looks like it was just put right in Carson's hands, and that's a good block. Or, sorry, a yeah. good spike by Carson. Yeah, Eliason and Lawhorn trying to jump up and block it, but just... Again, it just went straight down. It, it didn't work. It was dead. And
And I think we've seen that all night with Lake Oregon. Their blocks are just not close enough to the net. When they block the ball, it goes right back down in front of them on their side. They yeah. need to get closer because Clarkson's been doing a great job of that. They're getting right up against that net. They're throwing it right back into Lake Oregon's face. Now Eisen will put it over the net. And now Newblatt just blasts the ball over the net. And it looks like it Clark just tagged Lawhorn's hand. I mean, it, she's been just blasting the ball. Those spikes from Newblatt have been on point all game long, as you can see from right there, obviously. And we've seen some of the hardest hit spikes all night come from her. And now Dukas going to tip it over the net, but it looks like it was an, Ill it was an Ill illegal move, and they will give... Clarkston the point as Clarkston for the first time this set takes the lead. Yep, and that's really big. This is what we talked about over the uh, right before the break. Big momentum shifts is what's going to either make or break one of these teams. If Lake Orion cannot shift the momentum back in their court, it's going to break them down. And there's the block we were needing right there. They got right up against the net. They were ready for it, and that's what they did. That they just they were able to take what Clarkston's been doing all night and just put it right back at them. Yes, absolutely. And that's Allison O'Rourke back to serve for Lake Orion. And now Clarkston's number two, Losey, puts it in the air, but it goes out of bounds as Smith tried to make a save, but it was just too far out of bounds to recover. Yeah, and there was no getting that one back in once it's that far out. Yeah. There's no way to really reel that back in. Now O'Rourke back again with the serve. Clarkston bumping in the air. Now New. Newblatt making a spike as it's defended by Lake Orion. Smith in the air to Gallagher. Newblatt going to bump it over the net. There's Brunk. Brunk. Now to Dukas and Eliason. Big putting it over the net. Lake Orion is, is now a tie. Sorry, 19-17. They've got two on Clarkson now. They're starting to run away with it again. Will be Lake Orion serve from O'Rourke. Once again, the lefty. Now Smith making a save to Gallagher. Gallagher gonna put it over the net, right but it goes bounds. out of bounds. Good read. Once again, like we were talking about the accuracy of your bumps and your spikes can really come back to hurt you if it's not on point. Yep, and now they're, they're switching over to that big, that tall left-handed server, Allison O'Rourke, we've been dealing with righties all night. It looks like they're not prepared for it. Just no. like that right there, 20-17, yeah. 21-17. Lake Orion. Lake Orion up four here. And they're going to put O'Rourke right back in the servant's position. Lake Orion in a really good spot as they're getting closer to number 25. Momentum's been a thing all night. They just shifted it back over. They need to keep it rolling. No. Big bump. Gallagher over the net is O'Rourke. And Eliason with a big monster spike. spike. From Eliason. That was a really big play. The field house is starting to erupt in here. Oh, yeah. The section's the, going crazy. The energy is in the building. Yeah, that finally came back. We haven't seen this all night. This is the most that we've heard, especially from them. That's out of bounds off of the hand of Allison O'Rourke. Now you've got Gallagher going to come out here shortly. And now Clarkson number 14. Isabel Henry. I yeah. haven't seen her been serving too much tonight. Brunk with a big serve. Or As it goes spike. out of bounds. And now Clarkston down three. There's the Both accuracy teams very... spike again. It's a big game changer that we talked about multiple times tonight. The accuracy of those spikes. They need to be spot on. Otherwise, it just comes back to bite you. Now Poplowski going to put it over the net. Is Newblatt puts it over, and now Poplowski going to try to spike as it goes over the net, but recovered by Clarkston. Newblatt just blasts it over the Lyson. net, putting Clarkston within two points. Up 22-20 Lake Orion. This is looks like a timeout, Lake Orion. Yeah, like, they're going to try to regroup and get their defense back on track. I mean, yeah, the score right here tells exactly what's happening here in this game. You have two heavyweight teams 
two amazing teams just going at it. I mean, it's a two-point game. Both teams are looking really good here in the third set. And as we close the third set tonight, like, there hasn't been a single team that's ran away with this game. Lake Orion, they ran away at the beginning. They were up, what, seven? Yeah. And now, and now they're just right back to where it was all, get, all night with a really tight, gritty, defensive-oriented game. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Clarkston, how, how much were they down? Almost, they were almost down 10 points at the start of the set. At the start, at the beginning of the set. And now all of a sudden, it's shifted right back into Lake Orion's court. But then, as like we said, Clarkston, once they get going, there's it is very hard to stop Yeah, them. especially they, I mean, Newblatt. Newblatt, Hogan, Hogan and Smith. They, they got some players. And Smith, yeah, just powerful athletic players. And they're doing really well. Captain Elizabeth, Isabel Henry back to serve right now. She's served more than this set that she has all night. Brunk gonna bump it. And now Dukas to Eliason. Big spike from Eliason. She's really woken up up front th uh, this set. We haven't seen her up front as much as we have this set all night. Absolutely, and Eliason's really stepped up this set. And they're playing really well. Yeah, she absolutely. Big contributor, big hitter right at the front. That's where they need her. Now Johnson. Gonna serve it for Lake Orion. His new black bumps it to Smith. New black gonna tip it over. Now Duke is gonna give it to Brunk. And Brunk puts it in the corner, Perfectly putting Lake excellent. Orion of one point of winning this set. And that's the grit. Devin Brunk, that was a beautiful hit. It wasn't it wasn't hit very hard, but it was just right where it needed to be in that corner. And now Johnson. Johnson's serve doesn't go over the net, and Clarkson will get the point. Peplowski coming back in. And that's Clarkston's Morgan Lazzi back to serve right now. We've seen her serving on and off. Oh, sorry, they're going to change it over to Kubler, another team captain. She's been serving all night for Clarkson as well. Now, Kubler. She puts it over, and now Brunk gonna try to make a move here. As Smith tries to put it in, but then they'll give the point to Clarkston. Is Clarkston now down two? And that was just a well-placed hit from Clarkston. Yes, it was, Not very right, it was very close, but just good enough to get the point. When the game's moving that fast, it's very yeah. hard for you to move, to shift the defense over that quickly. Lake Orion just needs to dig deep real quick. They need one more to put away the set to take a minute break or a couple minute break and then come back ready to start set four. That's what they need and they cannot get jittery or hesitant right now and blow the third set. And now Dukas puts it in the air to Brunk. Saved by Clarkston. Now Newblatt. Big block get from it. Lake Orion, Devin Brunk. As it's put in and now another point for Clarkston. Making this game even tighter. This is a lot closer than Lake Orion wanted. They, they took that timeout. They needed just a couple more. It's down to one. They need one more to take a bright breather and know that this isn't over yet. Now Poplowski going to bump it up in the air. Different As play than Gallagher. we've seen. Now Lake Orion is Bronk trying to spike it. Is Clarkson's Clarkson. defense going to hold up? Smith, and now Smith with a heck of a spike. That was big. That was really just, good. Location. That was on point, finding the open spot there in Lake Orion's defense and just putting the spike on the money. And that one wasn't soft on. Yeah. That one. Here we go. 20, 20, uh, 24 24 is this the is score. Where? And here we go for all the marbles, Carson ladies and takes gentlemen. It, they take the. And, and now Lake, Lake Orion. From Lake Orion. Big time goal from Lake Orion. That's gonna put away set number three. And they're gonna, oh, oh, sorry. sorry about that. They're gonna win by two. Lake Orion needs one more now to put it away. Lake Orion trying to finish off the job here. And now Newblatt. And now, this wrong spike doesn't go over the net. We'll give Clarkston a point. Tying up the game once again. And again, a reminder both that if you have to win this game, you gotta win by two. 25-25, Zublat for the serve. Now Bronk, sir, spiking the ball, but it goes out of bounds. 
That puts Clarkston only one away yeah, this from is, taking the night away from Lake Orion. The suspense in this building right now is insane. The whole student section is standing up. They are getting ready. Zublat back to serve. One away from Clarkson taking it out. New blast. And that's going to put it back. It Tie game. 26-26. We're back to where we were at the start. We were back at 24-24. It was 25-25. And now it's 6-6. Looks like no. they're going to put Dukas back to serve. She's been reliable and accurate all night. And this is where it comes down to. Lake Orion, again, like I said, needing to dig deep. And now Dukas going to serve it. And now Kogan with a monster Big spike. spike from Clarkston. And that was an amazing, Kogan, that was just on point. That was awesome. Like, that was really, that was a very good spike. Really accurate. Clarkson. That's what, that's what changes it. That's what separates it. 27-26, Clarkson needs one, once again, to put the night away. Lake Orion's defense needs to kick in right now. Gallagher, going to serve it over the net. Very high intensity right Brunk now. Brunk, putting it over the net. You see Brunk taking it easy. She's not trying to put it out of bounds anymore. Big Bell save saves it. Bell. Dukas to Bronk on the spike. And now New Blast. Gallagher over the net to Poplowski. Dukas now small. Set. And now what a save there by Clarkston. Kogan putting it over the net to Bell. Dukas to Bronk. And it's out of bounds. And that's Clarkston and that taking it away. Clarkston takes the win. Big time win from Clarkston. And Clarkston. That's that's just the hard, they yeah, just came but, tonight to win. Yeah, That's what they came here to yeah. do. Ladies and gentlemen, with a final score tonight of 26-28 as Clarkston taking the lead, takes the lead at the very end and wins the game. And they just swept them 3-0, three sets to zero. Yeah, I mean, Clarkston showing off uh, what a great team they are. I mean, they're with a great record as they move to 15-2 and two in their total record and still undefeated in the league as they win the OAA Red Championship here tonight. I mean, this is just a monster win here for Clarkson. And, yeah, they're, and I, they're a great team. I think we're going to see Clarkson going pretty far in uh, this year's playoffs as well. They have a lot of potential. They're still not even – they weren't even perfect. But that's just for us to see later on down the line. But Lake Orion looks to have a turnaround next week. Yes, and that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, for our broadcast. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Tyler Ratliff. And I'm Zach Hayes. We'll see you later.